Chincoteague Wildlife Refuge, May 6, 2023. The sun is just up, shining on a mixed flight of shorebirds. We would expect to see these sandpipers and plovers scurrying over the sand and shallows, picking at tiny creatures, but they sleep on one foot, heads tucked. They are surely hungry, but mostly they are exhausted. We don't know exactly where these pilgrims came from or by what route. What we do know is that they flew all night, navigating by the stars and by their planet's magnetic field. They came from far away, perhaps Argentina or Peru, and they are bound for the Canadian or Siberian Arctic, where they will breed and hope to recruit a few young to their ever-thinning numbers. The single red knot nodding in the group has a story partly known. This bird flies 20,000 miles every year from the tundra to Tierra del Fuego and back, not to mention countless miles on daily errands. With the turnstones and the dunlins and the black-bellied plovers, the knots must fly from one staging area to the next, meet some critical food event, feed, rest, recover, and fly again into the night. The tiny squadron will rest and feed at Chincoteague today, and perhaps tomorrow meet the horseshoe crabs from the Sargasso Sea in the Jersey marshes of Delaware Bay. Then on to the next staging stop to meet some other critical refueling event, a leg closer to the tundra, wink another night across the stars, pitch exhausted onto another sandbar to find food and rest. We are grateful to see them, and we wish them safe journey.